So I've been making the transition from V5 onto V7. And uh, of course, for me, one of the things that's been difficult is is giving up VSR because VSR Autodesk shape that I use so much in five isn't on seven. But I've been looking at this as a challenge because VSR is no longer sold, right? And so it's not really that relevant to teach VSR to anybody, although it's the best plugin for Rhino ever made, in my opinion. But what I've been trying to do is use this as a, a challenge and a learning opportunity and to try as best as I can to bring the ideas and the concepts that I learned from VSR and to figure out ways to get that same functionality in stock Rhino. Um, and so one of the things that I love with VSR is this control point modeling window. And I use this all day long, every day. And a lot of this stuff we can do with stock Rhino commands, right? Change degree, like, you know, degree spans. We, we can do this with change degree now, right? All these, you know, I can say single normal. Well, I can point edit in Rhino using move UVN. I can do these things, right? Now, there's a couple things on here that, that I haven't really been able to do and extrapolate part of extrapolate we've been able to do, which is this, right? So this extrapolate function is so nice because it takes all the verts proportionally along for a ride, right? Um, and, you know, I use this all the time to sculpt and match, right? So if I'm calling a workflow sculpt and match, it's like, well, we got to be able to sculpt these things. So this works as extend surf in Rhino, but there's been this functionality with extrapolate where you go by the corners and you get this little arrow and it does this. And I use this all the time. I cannot tell you how much I use this. This is like being able to do both this and this to a surface. Um, it's incredibly powerful for sculpt and match. And I thought we didn't have this corner ability, this, this corner extrapolate. Well, so I posted about it, and I'll leave a link in the forum, but I posted about it in the Rhino forum basically saying like, hey, I'm hoping that we can get this kind of functionality in the future. And Pascal said, hey, I've actually created a prototype of this functionality as a plugin. Why don't you give it a shot? And so I did. So here I am now in seven. We've gone from five to seven. And of course, like I said, so extend surf, you know, with type smooth, merge yes, you know, you grab it. And this is doing exactly the same as that Rhino extrapolate. The math is, is totally identical. It's wonderful. Um, but what Pascal said is, hey, try this extend command. So there's now, so you load in that plugin and you do extend edge and select an untrimmed surface edge. Lo and behold, now it's not sort of real time updating the surface, but you can see from the control points, but lo and behold, it's doing what we want it to do. And it's doing it right. So this is a really, really powerful tool for your surface sculpting. I would encourage anybody who's interested in this kind of workflow, even though it's a prototype plugin, um, I would encourage everybody to download it and install it. There's a link right here to download it. If you've never installed a plugin manually yourself, what you'll need to do is go to the properties of the plugin and you'll need to unblock it and hit apply and then okay. And then when you're in Rhino, you can go to file, properties, come on up document, there you go, plugins, and you can click install and that's all you have to do. And so once you've installed it like that, then see so I've got extend surface edge right there uh, and it's enabled, right? And so then, you know, you just type extend and you get extend edge to come up and that's the command. So I would highly encourage everybody to uh, try this, check it out, install it. You know, between this and the new refit trim, to me on V7, these are, are really, really critical 
bedrock tools that are now finally you have some access to, even if it's just as sort of a proto plugin. So uh, I hope you get as excited about this as I do and you give it a try and you see if you can incorporate it into your workflow. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in the future where I'll be using this functionality. All right, have a great one.